Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Typical Smith Corona 5 Series here, manual typewriter. One of my favorites. So it's the standard Smith Corona that is very popular. But it's also got a common problem. This particular machine is ready to go, except the shift lock down here. So we got shift. And shift lock. And there it is. But with almost any movement, it pops out of place. There it goes. So it should stay locked. But you just touch it and, it and it goes off. There it goes. Shouldn't be that sensitive. So I know how to adjust this. I just never did one on camera. I'm going to do this one. It looks like it's just bent out of place. So way inside of here. Not, not way inside, but beneath the shift button or shift lock and this button, there's a, there's a piece that comes across here, and I think we'll be able to see it. We put the machine on its back here, and there it is, right there. Let me see if I can get something to poke in there with to view this. It's right there, and it mounts up against the frame over here two screws but it's just a piece of metal that comes out and then the shift lock here this other piece right it's kind of hard to see on camera too right there is the shift lock see it pivots and it's got a catch underneath this piece now right away I can tell this piece needs to be closer to that piece it needs to almost be up against this piece right here, so it's way, uh, way pushed away from that. But I did notice, and I don't think it's enough to worry about this little bottom edge right here. The bottom edge here has a little scar on it, a little wear mark, right about where that silver mark is, right there, and right where that that latches up. So that shift comes down here and it latches right there. There's a little wear mark, which could affect uh, it latching in there too, but I think the majority of it is that needs to be bent. And we're just going to do that. Uh, let's try a couple different ways. One way, of course, would be to use a T-bender like this and get in here maybe from the top right there like that and bend it. In fact, I'm going to just do it. It's ready to go. I'm going to bend it toward like that right there. Now, when that shift comes down there, it's latching in there. And you press shift lock and it comes off. Or shift and it comes off. Shift lock, comes off. Let's try it and see if that just did it right there. That's enough to, uh, to make it work properly here. So, shift, shift lock, oops, shift lock. That's good. If it doesn't pop off with a bang like that, it's good. That's as good as you need to get it. And then you don't need it. If it's too tight, you can't push this to release it easily. That would be an up and down adjustment. So you want it to be able to hold the shift down all the way here. And then when it locks, it doesn't come up at all. See, the basket doesn't raise back up. If it's out of adjustment a little, it would come back up a little bit. And this would be in, you know, in shift alignment, but that won't be. So this one is already adjusted. It's pretty much a manipulation of this, of that little piece right there, and uh, right there. And if all the worst case scenario, it's got to come out for some reason because maybe that that bottom edge has a has a 
scar on it, you know, it's, it's too uh, worn out or something. There's a couple screws right down there. I don't know if we can see them on camera very good. There they are. They're way over there. There's where that piece mounts up. Get this to focus up. So yeah, you would have to remove these two screws, take this piece out, and maybe you could grind this bottom edge flat again if it's worn out. So that's a basic way to adjust the shift lock latch on most of these Smith Kona five and six series machines. All right. Everybody in Typewriter Land, have a great day.